So in addition to being CIO for some of our Houston clients, you're also the CIO for Aldridge. And part of that responsibility is collaborating uh, with our team to understand when an issue does happen at one of our clients, mm -hmm. how do we respond to that? Any tips that you could give folks that maybe are running IT in-house of what they should be looking for to make sure that they're properly prepared to respond if there is a security incident? Oh, sure. Um, what you're talking about are incident response plans. And that doesn't have to be a big formal thing. Um, really, the, the importance of at least having the plan in place is so that you don't have to invent what to do at the time that it happens. You're anticipating that, yes, there's a likelihood that this could occur. And if it occurs, it's worth investing some time up ahead to say, when that sort of thing happens, this person will be in charge of it. These things will happen. These people will get notified. An incident response plan from a security standpoint usually just starts with the basics. And the, there's an education component to it, but there's also this first idea of a detection. Detection could be as simple as letting everyone on your team know, hey, if you receive an email from an outside customer that says, I think I got a bad email from you, or this email looks suspicious and it looks like it came from your organization, well, that could be the detection phase. And now that person that received that response back from that customer would have a responsibility to notify whoever then launches off the incident plan. Like if it was one of our clients, they would probably call our service desk, our Aldridge team on that. That incident plan then details out, we're going to respond to the client with this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we know what's going to happen. Otherwise, what will happen is that sort of report comes into the organization and the client organization doesn't necessarily know what to do with it. And maybe the response will vary depending on who they reach in the organization, whereas that's the type of thing that you want to make sure you have a consistent response for. Another common incident response plan is, oh, no, I've got malware on my computer, or I think I clicked on a bad link. Well, what do you do? Do you leave it up to the individual's discretion? And hopefully they've got best judgment and they know how to secure their system and then make sure that it's not compromised. And most people, that's more than what their job responsibility would normally require. The incident response plan would start at that point with that detection phase again. I think I clicked on a bad link. I think there's software running on my computer because I saw this. Again, it's probably going to be contact the help desk. And then our help desk, from Aldridge's standpoint, has a response plan of there's suspected malware on a computer. Very well, we're going to isolate the computer. We're going to scan the computer. We're going to try to identify what it is. We'll look for other things that might have been compromised around it. We'll try to find out how it got onto it, make sure we understand what the first moment event was, and then work on the communication out from there so that it's contained, but it goes all the way into recovery about how are we going to get them back up and running? How are we going to return them to normal business operations as quickly as we can?